everyone, Ariana here, and today I wanted to take the time to show you this really great Jean Grey look from the new X-Men. It is actually the cover of the third volume, I'm pretty sure, of that series, if you have like the big books. It's this picture here, I will insert, and she has this really great vivid green eye that I have going on here, and these awesome taupe lips, and these super, super sculpted cheekbones, and it's just oh, amazing. And she has just this voluminous, super sexy red hair, and I just wanted to recreate the look for you today, and if you're interested, just keep on watching. Chuck on a black turtleneck, get started with a bare face and knotty hair. You're gonna wanna comb through that hair and tame that mane so that there are no knots in there. Gather it into a bun at the back of your head and really make sure that there are no knots in there since this bun is going to be drying and creating the waves that Jean Grey has. Once it's secured, you're done! I am taking Organics Coconut Milk Mousse and I really like it because it makes your hair super silky and liberally applying it in the palms of your hands, you're going to take it and just apply it on the bun that you just created, making sure that the bun is moist. Next, I am priming my face with Studio Gear's Prime Objective Corrector a really good one, smooths out all those imperfections. Taking Urban Decay's Primer Potion in Eden and priming my lids with my ring finger since it adds the least pressure for your eyes and since they are a very sensitive part of your face. I'm a concealer time. I am taking Urban Decay's 24-7 Concealer Pencil in DEA and applying it to all of the parts of my face that I have redness, dark circles, or just any imperfections that I want to hide. I really like this concealer because it stays for a really long time and it's super creamy. So taking a flat brush, I'm just fluffing out everywhere that I put the concealer in order to make it blend and look more natural. Taking Maybelline's Dream Matte Mousse. I am applying my foundation. I'm trying to use this up because currently I don't have a foundation that I like. It does the trick and I'm just applying it over my concealer so that any of my imperfections like pimples or anything don't stand out from the DEA which is kind of what Lastly taking Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser. It has this weird applicator and so I put it on my fingers since I don't get germs everywhere with that sponge. NARS is bronzer in Laguna. I'm going to take this sad little fluffy brush that I've had forever and start contouring my face. I'm going to contour my face in this C shape like you see here. Since in the photo that I showed before, Jean has these really chiseled cheekbones and they're just standing out in comparison to everything else. So I'm going to liberally apply this bronzer and just keep buffing it away in this C shape from my temples to underneath my cheekbones until the desired of Next, taking Bare Minerals Powder in Vine, I completely covered my eyelid. Taking Max Shadow in Humid, I am going to contour my eyes. Basically, you want to have a brush that you can work it into the crease of your eyes and do this windshield motion going back and forth, back and forth until you have successfully all of your eyeshadow and made it just a really pretty gradient. Blending is the key and you want it to look something like this. And I am taking this Maybelline lipstick in Tinted Taupe. I'm going to sweep it across my lips. I feel like this color works really well since Jean isn't wearing really any discernible color. It just looks like a kind of muted brown taupe color like the one that I have here. Then taking L'Oreal Paris's 12 hour infallible super slim liquid eyeliner, I'm going to begin the process of lining my eyes. First I like putting two little ticks on the side and you can't really see it that well but then I like to use this head because it makes application super easy if you apply it in just short little strokes. You're done! Lash curler, mine's just from the drugstore by Revlon. You want to curl your lashes, and a neat trick to maintain the curl is put on your mascara right after you curl it, like you are seeing right here. It helps keep the curl. I really like this eye look because it helps bring out the green in your eyes. Finally, you are going to release the beast that has been drying on your head. You want to part your hair on the left hand side and just finger comb through so that you don't disrupt the waves too much but just so that you get that added voluminous effect like you see here. 
throw on a snow glove if you want to be cheap like me and try to pose like Jean Grey and give it all your phoenix fierceness. Yes, I realize this cosplay is very half-assed, but hey, that's not what is important here. The makeup is what's important. I'll say it again, I really like this eye makeup look because it brings out the green and natural eyes and it's just a great look for any girl. That's it, I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, like, and subscribe. Okay, thanks for watching, bye.